<laughs> Praise the Lord! Right to knock our head here, a.k.a. Brother Billy Jr. Brothers and sisters, turn your Bibles to Numbers chapter 11, and we'll be looking at verses 1 to 3. And it reads, And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses, and Mo Moses prayed unto the Lord. The fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place Tabara, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man can ever present. <laughs> and my brothers and sisters, this is the word of God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Brothers and sisters, Numbers chapter 11 starts out like this. And when the people complained, so the, the, the people of God were traversing through the wilderness in an uncharted, unprecedented, they've never been there before, all this, and, and, and they're complaining, they're murmuring, complaining. It's, it's just Things are just not the way they would like it to be, the, the, the people of God. And they're complaining. And then it says, and it displeased the Lord. The Lord. This is the, the Lord, Jehovah. He loves these people. And it displeased them. The, it, so, and, and watch this. And the Lord heard it. The, the Lord, a covenant-keeping God who loves these people. They're complaining because of this, the, the circumstances, the situation that's surrounding them. And, and it displeases God. And, and, and he's not displeased with them because he loves them. He's displeased because of what's the, the source of the, 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 their, their fear and anxiety and their worry and their destructive thought patterns. And, 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 and that displeases the Lord. He loves these people and he's displeased that they're in this frame of mind, just the attitude of, of this being, being complained, where, where they are complaining and murmuring, and it pleases the Lord. And then watch this. And the Lord heard this because he loves them. And, and, and he says, and his anger was kindled. His anger was, wasn't kindled to them, the people of God, because he loves them. His anger was kindled to the, the source of, 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 of them feeling this way. Oh, the, the fear, the, the anxiety, the worry, the, the anxious thoughts. This is where the Lord who loves these people, anger is kindled towards. And then watch this. And it says, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them. Now, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29, the Hebrew writer says about God, that God is a consuming fire. And when Moses had his first encounter of Jehovah God in Exodus chapter 3, it says how the angel of the Lord came as like a flame of the fire in the midst of a bush. And this bush was a dry bush. And when Moses went closer for further examination, what he noticed was this dry bush was burning with fire, but yet was not consumed. And, and, and so the, the, the fire of the Lord that burnt among them was, if you will, that the flame of fire that was in the midst, this, the, 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 the love that the Lord, because the Lord is a covenant keeping God. He loves you. The, the, the love, the, 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 the mercy, the grace, everything that's good was in the midst of the people. It burned among them, but they were not consumed. But there was something that was consumed with well, the same fire that was loving the God's people. Watch this. Following the next sentence, it says, and consumed them that were in the 
outermost parts of the camp. And so the same fire that is purifying God's people, that is perfecting God's people, that is rejuvenating God's people, that is resuscitating God's people, that is refining God's people, that is uh, restoring God's people, that fire, those that are them, them that were in the outermost parts of the camp, that is consuming them. And what's that? The, the maybe you know when in 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 the wilderness there was probably wild animals, um, weather conditions that was contrary to God's people that that was kind of uh, instigating this this sense of complaining and 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 that was fire was consuming those things that was against God's people. So the fire of the Lord was burning among God's people. But they weren't consumed. But the fire of the Lord was consuming those things that were against God's people. You know, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, the apostle Paul talks about how the Satan is the power is the prince of the power of the air. And so what's the of the uttermost parts of the camp? The things of Satan. The prince of power in the air. And what's God doing with that fire? He's consuming that kingdom of darkness. And when it comes to the fire of the Lord that burns among his people, it's prospering them. It's perfecting them. It's rejuvenating them. It's resuscitating them. It's revitalizing them. It's restoring them, that fire of the Lord, the Lord, the covenant-keeping God. A covenant that he loves us. And then watch this. And so now, in verse 2, it says, And the people cried unto Moses. You know, they're crying because, because they're, they're, they're feeling this experience. They're crying. They're crying and complaining. They're crying to, to Moses, the leader. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, and that Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, is the Lord that has as a covenant keeping God, the covenant keeping that he loves you and he'll never leave you nor forsake you. When he prayed unto the Lord, the same Lord, Jehovah God, that loves these people, the fire was quenched. Not God's love for them was quenched, but that fire that was going against God's people's enemy, that quenched. And then watch this, verse three. And he called the name of the place to Barah. And why? Because the fire of the Lord burned among them. It burned among them. That fire of the Lord, again, because God is a consuming fire. And because he's a consuming fire, and, and, and is that flame of fire in the midst of the bush, everything that's good about God, it, it, that, that fire will burn. It'll burn. It, 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 it'll, it'll remain. But it'll never consume us. It'll never go, go, go low. That 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 love that He has for us. If anything, that 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 the same love, the fire of God's love for us, that that purifies us, that same love goes out to go our things that goes against us, and it protects us and prevents those things that come against us to have any power against us. And so when we're in that place called Tabara, knowing that God is, is an all-consuming fire, Tabara, because the fire of the Lord, the fire of the Lord, the covenant-keeping God, that he loves us, will burn among us and burn among them because God loves us. So no matter if you're in the wilderness, no matter if you're going through a, a, a tumultuous time, just know this, that our Lord and Savior, God, uh, God will give a fire of the Lord and he will purify you with that fire. He will perfect you with that fire. He will rejuvenate you with that fire. He will resuscitate you with that fire. He will renew you with that fire. And when and, and, and when when that happens, you know that you're in a place called Tabara. The Lord will burn his love among you.
and that love will not consume you, but be a consuming fire. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord! May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you speech. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in the narratives to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling and present you false in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Remember, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, the year 2020, 2020, the perfect vision, believe. Remember, believe the Lord your God and be established. Be established in that place called Tabara, where the Lord's love will burn among his people. It won't consume you. It'll be a consuming fire. And why? And when that happens, you know this, believe his prophets that are preaching the things of God's grace. And watch this. Just like when you're in that place of Tabara, where the Lord's love will burn among you, you will prosper. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless. Agape love. <laughs>